The buildup of steam under pressure can cause many things to go off. But how about a water heater bursting right through your house? To mimic a real life situation, the roof of the house has been constructed to California building code specifications. And the water heater contains no explosives. They turn on the power, hunker down, and wait. You feel ready? Everyone's in position? Cameras are all rolling? Yeah. We've got a nice little red house out there sitting on there, you know, like everything's rosy. Rosy on the outside, but roasting on the inside. Okay, everybody, we're at 300 PSI. That's twice the tank rating. Keep your eyes peeled, because it'll go any minute now. As the pressure inside the tank mounts, so does Jamie and Adam's heart rate. 315 PSI. Oh, this is killing me. 320. Any second. 325. This is excruciating. This kind of stress on a regular basis can't be good for no. you. No, shortening our lifespan. <laughs> We're going to make it to 350. the heater launches and tears through the roof like it's tissue. You could practically have a three-course meal while you're waiting for it to come back down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the house. What house? I don't see a house. I don't know what you're going to be talking about. This actually surprised me. The house was no hindrance whatsoever to the rocket. It probably would have gone through several houses like this before it stopped going. It's like a fairy tale come true. The water heater huffed, it puffed, and it blew the house down. It just goes to show you, you know, there's danger everywhere. Did you know what was lurking in your basement? The guys inspect what's left of their once charming home. The bottom of the tank went from concave to convex, probably in a split second. There's a hole in the roof. It had to go through two layers of two by four trusses in order to make that hole, and yet it totally did. And it did it without breaking any of the three windows in here. That's a rocket, my friend. Yeah. Not a bomb. The trajectory and form of the 500-foot-high rocket-like blast is revealed on the high speed. <laughs> Oh. I got to say, it's more interesting than an actual explosive explosion uh -huh. because the steam is just erupting everywhere and, and completely disintegrating. It's different. It's more elegant. Yes, it was like a lovely, delicate water heater ballet, uh, but deadly. So our researchers have found cases of this actually happening. Indeed. In 2001, outside of Seattle, a burrito shop's hot water heater exploded, went right through the roof, and apparently flew 439 feet into the air. And there was one in Minnesota where the water heater went through all the floors of the house, continued 150 feet in the air, and it was so bad that it knocked the house off its foundation and it had to be condemned. Two people were injured killed a dog. Yeah, it's real bad stuff. So the moral of the myth is, even though you use them daily, don't take your water heater for granted, or there may not be a happy ending. And test your relief valve. So what I hope that people get out of this episode is when they see that pipe sticking out of the water heater that doesn't go anywhere and it's dripping water, that they don't go, oh, maybe I should cap that. Hey, look, it's a hole in the roof. I can call that. Can I wrap this up yet? <laughs> Myth confirmed! <laughs>